Good morning everyone, this is Regine and we're going to discuss today along with Ms. Lamorda and Ms. Madaha the language of unscripted commentary. But before we proceed, let, let me discuss first the objective or the objectives of this report. I do have here um, a total of four objectives for my report for today. So the first one is to understand what is unscripted commentary is, of course. The second one is to know challenges, to know the challenges in doing an unscripted commentary. The third one is to provide examples of challenges encountered in commenting unscriptedly because everything um, really has challenges. So let's um, dwell on later on in regards with the challenges that the commentator or the unscripted commentator may encounter. And the last one is to know the things that a commentator needs to possess in doing unscripted commentary. The question is, what is unscripted commentary? So my understanding before I research about this unscripted commentary, so my um, understanding about it is really um, commenting to someone or to something without having any script. So unscripted commentary, it means giving your opinion, interpretation, insights, analysis, explication, personal reaction, evaluation, or reflection about concrete detail in an essay or in an event you are commenting on a point you have made. So yes, um, just like what I said earlier, it's all about commenting without having a script. So you might see it on um, you know, on the basketball, bas basketball game, there are, there is actually someone who is saying um, if someone or that player has a points or that player has a violation, that is actually an example of unscripted commentary. But no worries later on, I'm going to provide examples of the unscripted commentary. But really the unscripted commentary, it was actually commenting something or to someone without having any script. It is actually merely your opinion, your interpretation, or the things that you see or you saw, you are commenting about that. So that is unscripted commentary. And now, let's watch some examples or examples of clips of a commentator doing unscripted commentary. <laughs> and we are at capacity tonight here at the opulent Tostino Center. 50,000 fans are ready to binge drink for a couple of hours. I tell you what, I can't wait. Hi, I'm grown man Chick Sarika. And I'm grown man Bob DeSantio. That's right, Bob. And we have both made careers watching adult men play a simple child's game, all while being paid more than the president. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chick. And it seems as though the millionaires are ready to play their game, so we can stop stalling with the mindless chat. And the rhinos bring the ball into play. And the alleged rapist passes the big orange ball to the sweaty legal giant. And the slamming! The legal giant easily puts the ball into the basket, making it look easy, which, if you're seven feet tall, it is. He made about $8,000 while he was doing that. <laughs> Now the Power Falcons are bringing the ball into play. And now let's proceed with the challenges in doing unscripted commentary. Well, unscripted commentary from the word unscripted itself, it's already been a challenge. So the first one is it demands extra effort. Yes, it really demands extra effort. So it demands extra effort because you don't have any scripts that you might read or that might help you if ever you've got um, out of words to say. Because, you know, um, commenting on a specific event or in a specific situation, you need to construct your own words or the things that you wanted to say out of a big audiences. So the second one is it requires confidence. So yes, it really requires confidence because how can you deliver your opinion or the things that you want to say in front of a lot of people if you don't have confidence? So you might have or you need to build your confidence in order for you to deliver your points or to deliver your opinions and the third one is that it requires practice it not it is not necessarily means practicing the words that you're gonna you're gonna say or you're gonna deliver because again it is unscripted it means you don't have any scripts at all it means that it requires you to practice or to practice choosing the best choice of words because again you're gonna be delivering information to a large group of people in which they're actually they're actually um depends on you 
on how they're gonna be entertained by the words or by the choices of words that you're gonna deliver so you need to require or you need to practice the choice of words so the next one is that it requires audience engagement so of course you're gonna be um, encountering some cases wherein you're gonna interview um, particular audience or or a player as well for example in the basketball game you can see there that you can see there that there is actually reporters who have interviewed the um, players, some audiences, and yes, you really, uh, you really have to build rapport with the audience. You need to um, adjust yourself to engage or to interact with the other people because that is how you role to be a commentator. If there are challenges, of course, there should be solutions in every challenges that we might encounter. So we have here things to consider in doing a scripted commentary. So the first one is to develop logic about the field in which we're going to do commentary. So it's like actually um, doing research or just knowing the field that you're going to do commentary. Because how can you provide your point of view or your opinions if you do not know something about that particular field? And the next one is to have to defend your own opinions too. Yes, of course, since this is unscripted commentary, you need to provide your own opinion, of course. It's merely based on your opinions, actually. And the next one is be flexible. It doesn't mean um, flexible like um, someone from gymnastics doing splitting doing jumping it's not like that flexibility flexibility and doing unscripted commentary is like being resourceful being mindful on what are the things that you need to do if there are unwanted events that might happen because of course there is always unwanted events that might come along our way or that might come along the way when you're doing unscripted commentary so you need to be flexible in doing unscripted commentary and the last one is be prepared where of well, of course, this is really important. You need to be prepared. Just like the first one that I provide you to develop logic about the field, it's like the same with being prepared. Because how can you um, fight in a battle without having guns, without having any, uh, any instruments or weapons that you might use? So you really need first to be prepared. For the conclusion, commentators are important in keeping viewers or listeners entertained because they are constantly attempting to create an atmosphere for the viewers. Yes, because actually if we, do have an, we don't have any comment commentators in a particular event, it's just actually it's boring. Just having a regular play without a commentator is actually just like nothing. It actually, they add up spices on a particular event. Or for example, in a basketball field, you know, imagine um, watching basketball tournament without a um, person or commentator saying, Tumira ng dos, tumira ng tres. It was like a way, it was actually like a boring basketball tournament. Actually, commentators, they actually add spices to a particular tournament or a particular um, event. So, commentators really are important because they um, provide or they keep us viewers or listeners entertained. Knowing the field to which you'll be commenting is the most basic consideration. That is what I um, repeatedly saying earlier, that you know uh, first the field that you're going to be commenting. Uh, that is actually the most basic con consideration that we should consider. Being a commentator entails more than just making comments and providing information to a large number of people. It is also helps to improve your communication skills and boost your confidence interacting with others. So that's it for my report. I hope you have learned something. Thank you so much for listening and God bless us all.